Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. So happy you stopped by to check out today's video. I told you guys in my most recent video where I put up my curriculum choices from the good and the beautiful that you would be seeing the same intro on all of my curriculum picks for the upcoming homeschool year. However, I accidentally deleted that intro. So here I am doing another intro. I am gonna share with you guys the curriculum choices for each of my kids' grade levels, 10, nine, five, and seven, in a separate video that will be coming out on my channel each week. So if you're looking for ideas or just curious to see what we're gonna be using in our homeschool, then definitely keep checking back and make sure you're subscribed. If you wanna see what we're using specifically from The Good and the Beautiful, I already put up that video since there was quite a bit of curriculum from them. Go check that out. But but I just wanted to get on and explain why I'm here again giving an intro, but we are going to jump into my curriculum choices for today. That will be in the title of this video. You can see which one it is there. This intro, I'm not going to delete this one. It will be across all of the videos. So no more delaying. I will link everything I can for you guys down below. If you have any questions about the curriculum you see in this video, feel free to ask them. Leave me a comment down below. If you've used any of the stuff, let me know your thoughts on it, but we're going to jump right in to curriculum. Okay, so fifth grade curriculum choices minus Bible. I'm going to make a whole separate video on different resources that I'm pulling together uh, to share God's word with my kids aside from the Bible itself. We don't use a curriculum, so you're not going to see that here, but look out for that video as well as like the family subjects video if that's something that you are interested in. So for fifth grade for history, if you watched my seventh grade choices video, I went into the explanation behind why I chose this course. So if you wanna know that, go watch the seventh grade curriculum choice. I'm not gonna go into why I chose this, but um, <clears throat> in this video, but I did in the seventh grade. So if you wanna see why, go watch that. But for fifth grade science or history, oh my gosh, I've been filming lots of these videos. Uh, for fifth grade, we are going to be doing the early American history from Beautiful Feet books. This is a literature approach for intermediate grades. So this is the teacher's book. And um, since it's a literature based curriculum, it comes with all of these books that will be in our morning basket, morning cart time that go with our history. So that is what we are going to be using for history for the fifth grade. For science, if you watch the seventh grade video, you're gonna see the same exact things because I am doing science with my youngest two kids uh, together next year. My older two have moved on. We don't do science together anymore. It's okay. Uh, for fifth grade though, we are going to be doing energy from the good and the beautiful. We are going to be doing beginning chemistry from the good and the beautiful. We are going to be doing maturation and reproduction from the good and the beautiful. And we are also going to be doing paleontology, which is on its way. I thought my order would be here by now, but it's not, it's in the mail. So paleontology will be our fourth science unit for fifth grade. I like doing one unit per quarter. And so that is why I choose four. That's what we're gonna be doing for science for fifth grade. For math, we are going to be continuing using uh, Simply Good and Beautiful Math. This is Math 5. I have the Mental Math, Math Mysteries, and then the Answer Key. So I have all the things for math for her. She loves Simply Good and Beautiful Math. For her reading, language arts, writing, it is all summed up right here. <laughs> in the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts Level 5. This covers grammar usage, punctuation, art, geography, vocabulary, writing, and spelling. I have all the things that go with that, the geography and grammar cards. And then I have the box book set, which contains four uh, chapter books, as well as the watercolor program uh, art component of that uh, language arts. That's why I love the good and the beautiful. There's so many good things in there and it never feels overwhelming. 
So she's going to be doing that for language arts. She's also going to be doing handwriting level six. I also have level seven um, if she finishes this one early. And then she's going to be doing Wordly Wise book five. I like using Wordly Wise not because I feel like the good and the beautiful needs more vocabulary. It's just an extra thing she can do on her own that gets her brain warmed up and ready to learn. And we just do two pages a day. It's not a big deal. And I, I really like this. All of my kids use it. And then the last thing that I have for her is typing three. She finished typing two this past year. So I'm gonna have her finish typing three. All of my kids have used all three levels of typing from The Good and the Beautiful. And I love it. The lessons are very simple and they don't take a ton of time. Another independent thing that she can do to just practice typing correctly. So that is everything that I am using for fifth grade. And of course, incorporating so many fun seasonal things, poetry tea time, all the activities you guys see me share. Uh, this is just the course book work and minus um, our Bible time and read alouds. I will do separate videos on those. This is just like the books that we're using, the curriculum we're using for fifth grade. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below and I will get back to you guys. If you're looking for any of my other grade level videos, chances are they are up by now. So make sure you look through my most recent videos because I've done a grade level video for each of my kids. Um, and although, I am sharing curriculum in each of those. I feel like I kind of say a little bit different things in each one. So it, like I said, in the seventh grade video, I kind of explained the history thing. Maybe I'll do a whole video on that. Maybe I won't, but if you're interested, go watch that and you'll see why I picked that one. Um, but read alouds, Bible, those things will be added onto this. So this is our coursework. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing my curriculum choices. Let me know if we're using any of the same things and if you're excited about them. I hope you enjoyed hearing my choices and I will see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye guys.